The Southeast Missouri Food Bank uses the slogan, Delivering Help in Hope to the Hungry. Southeast Missouri Director of Athletics Mark Allnut and football student athletes and coaches delivered lots of hard work to help with this community service project. Players and coaches assisted with painting, landscaping, cleaning, and organizing efforts at a number of local facilities which serve as storage and distribution centers for this great cause. Southeast Missouri student athletes and coaches are always dedicated to giving back to the community that so generously supports them. So guys, Dr. Uh, Shells? A little bit of everything, huh? Uh, you guys are doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know what? You guys are inside, cool air conditioning, know. you know. We, we, yeah, we, got, we got, got a good job. You guys got a good job here. You guys got a good job. But this is important, though, guys. I mean, it really is. Although with 500 families, I believe, they're telling us coming here monthly to get food items. It's tremendous. As we continue our day with uh, Southeast Missouri State Director of Athletics, Mark Allnut, we have now joined uh, some of our football student athletes at some various food banks, food pantries, and other distribution points as part of a really nice community service effort. As you can see, Mark, on the vehicle here that is used to distribute some of the uh, food that goes out, a partnership for hunger relief, and it's nice for our student athletes to be partnered up with something like this. No, yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's tremendous to have all of our student athletes, football student athletes down here at the Southeast Missouri Food Bank, and, and they're in various locations here. You know, a couple locations down here in Sykeston, one location up in Cape Girardeau. And, and what it means, you know, again, it's as we talk about developing our student athletes, you know, it's not just in the classroom, it's not in the football field in this case with our football student athletes, but it's also that overall social development and giving back to the community. You know, the help that they're given the, the food bank is tremendous. You know, we, we've toured, you know, two different locations and, and we see the, the, the amount of, 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 of stuff, so to speak, that they do for the community and, and, and stuff that's needed for the community. and in order for us to have you know, 80, 85, 90 student athletes out and about helping them, I mean, it's giving them a big boost in production today. I mean, just walking through some of these facilities and seeing, you know, our student athletes engaged with uh, other members of the community like this. I mean, it's just really exciting to see. And, and I mean, just, you know, the, just knowing that this is going to such a good cause. Yeah, it's going to a great cause. I mean, anytime you can in this, this day and age and in these economic times, you know, what the food bank does for the community, uh, the, the regional community is tremendous. And as we were going around, you know, our, our guys, they were, they were excited, they were enthusiastic. You know, the one, the one facility we were at where they were cleaning it up, I mean, they were rolling up their sleeves, adding a little elbow grease, just cleaning it up. And then this assembly line that we, we saw here, that food that goes to the elderly, I mean, it was a polished assembly line where, where guys are creating a box, loading up the food, you know, taping it up and, and, and putting them on pallets. But again, just the overall positive attitude, there was not something like we have to be here, something that the you know, guys are excited about doing. And then just listening to some of the various employees, you know, in the food banks. Yeah. I mean, I was just amazed to hear some of the stories they were telling and, and just some of the, uh, the good-natured, sure. you know, things that they do. Um, what were some of the things you learned about today? Well, you know, first of all, understanding, a more understanding of the need that's out here, especially for this organization. There's all type of charitable organizations in this region, but, you know, the opportunity to get to know more about one, particular one, is, is, is tremendous. You know, understanding what that need is and, and how, how can we help. And, and again, if there's uh, more opportunities in the future for not only our football student athletes, but all of our student athletes to be able to assist with this particular organization, I think it's a, a great thing because the need is there. And with charitable organizations such as this one, you know, they're always looking for volunteers. And anytime we have opportunity for our student athletes that might have a day off for, for practice or the studies might be light, and it's an opportunity for us to get out and get about the community, uh, it's tremendous. To, to show people you know, what we're all about from, from the student athlete uh, perspective and for them to engage people down there and, and I know we have some local talent that will be uh, talking to the group so it's exciting and, and part of this plan is even though this is sites in today you know, as we move throughout the year and, and more particular in the spring when, when things slow down for us you know, we'll have opportunity to do more of this and, and be able to stretch more of that I-55 corridor and just be visible I think it's, 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 it's fantastic to be out there, to get our brand known, and uh, you know, people are going to be very receptive of it. Mr. Allnut concluded the day by joining the cross-country squad at its annual preseason team meeting over at the Success Center. This concludes the day in the life with Southeast Director of Athletics Mark Allnut, which was a two-part series here at GoSoutheast.com.